everyone, welcome to this weekly dance journal. Today we are going to discuss about two things that I learned today. First is the Cuban motion and the other thing is something called a sliding door if I didn't hear wrongly in my class. I am going to do an unboxing because my home training equipment is here and I'm so excited to unbox it. Okay, so the first thing we learned today in class was the uh, cha-cha routine uh, as we are standing on beat one, which is the downbeat. So standing, push, and then bring it back. As we bring this, the, this hip backward, we have to uh, keep this in already. So straight, bend, kick. Then straight, bend, and then kick. As you kick, you have to bend your knee and then stand straight and push it up that means turn out uh. and then let me reverse a little bit so if we when we stand like this already right we push then we go out so this is a bad habit because when we put our leg out our hip is still here and then only we shift our weight here push and then back push it and then bring it back and then only we push bend and then stand again and stand and then out push and then bring it back and then okay one time so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and 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 Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. This is correct. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So the other trick that I learned to make it flow is actually imagine we are standing on straight leg so now we are on the standing leg so this is one on beat one so one and so one and two two is straight leg already so and two and three and four and one one and two and three and four and 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 one that is the cha cha routine which is called the Cuban motion next will be our sliding door so the sliding door is we have to stand on our right leg we are going into the topic of Roomba and we are going to do this pattern the layer here is to make sure we are passing our foot that is moving next to the standing leg after we go past the standing leg we have to go past and then stand on the downbeat and then move on the end, the upbeat. And then this one is going back to the uh, Cuban motion. And, <laughs> and then here, cross, pass by. And then we have to point and then turn and one, two, is it one more? Just two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. I <laughs> see I want to do a check again. So check is with a bent knee on the back leg. And what we are doing 
doing this practice, we have to hold our hand up here. Uh, as for my understanding, this posture is, a, is an inviting posture when we dance. So we want to open this up. And you know what? My home training session helps because I don't feel tired. Here, it will be one and two. Slide it back. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Before my class start, I was sitting in the classroom and I saw another solo dancer uh, who is taking a class with another teacher. This is something that I find very uh, related to myself because there's one movement, the girl is giving a lot of energy so the teacher say, if you don't give energy that side already so I just want to share with you right, like in, in singing and especially the song Heavy Enough that I just performed last Sunday For me So I just let it fade it off because previously I was singing some For me Halfway there, so um, I don't do that anymore. Just remove that. Then it flows. Uh, how do I say? It flows naturally, more naturally because um, you know, it's a resolve feeling. It's a very strong part, and we want it to resolve. Perhaps you should watch the video. I'm gonna upload and share with you soon. So that is the dance journal part, and thank you for watching. I am going to do the unboxing right now. It's super heavy.